So, this episode of Log Horizon, or should we call this Log Monologue? Because this episode was just William monologuing and having his speech for the span of this entire episode. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying it's bad, but I'm like, damn, the fucking monologue. Damn! Like, it, it's not bad. Now, don't assume I'm saying it's bad. I'm just saying, damn! The entire episode, beginning to end, was pretty much William monologuing about what it truly means to be a gamer, what it truly means to raid. He just went all freaking balls deep into this. Like, he, he was just like... <sighs> wow. Just like, damn. Only Log Horizon. Let's just say it right now. Only Log Horizon can get away with this shit. I, I, I'm just saying it right now. And if it's not Log Horizon, it's probably Spy Some Wolf that can get away with something like this. With this monologuing. Like, damn. <laughs> just like, damn. Okay, so, this episode is, uh, kind of, it, it's, it's really simple really an explanation it's William monologuing about what it truly really means to be a gamer what the gaming world means to him what you know his gamer friends mean to him stuff like that that's pretty much what this episode is that sums it up right there that really is it's a very 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 simple episode like damn but there is a lot of depth to the like overall monologuing so if you actually take the time to you know, actually key on certain moments of it, you'll actually notice some really interesting things about his monologues. So one thing, one thing that this actual monologue served was to show you once again the loneliness theme that is apparent in Log Horizon. Log Horizon has always had this loneliness type like theme to it with, you know, Shiro and his loneliness and stuff like that, Akatsuki and her loneliness, different characters of experiences type of vibe, and once again this overall feeling is betrayed once again through this monologue that William states through the majority of this entire episode. And you know what really hit in the feels, man? When I saw him say, like, he was, like, socially awkward. He, he couldn't make any friends. He was, like, casted from society. And the only true friends he had was the friends in the game. And I'm like, dude, dude, that's some truth shit right there. That is truth. Like, oh, my God, dude. Like, seriously, there is a lot of people out there, a lot of gamers that are like that. And, you know, I have to admit, I'm slightly like that myself. I, I will admit that. I am. And to see that type of shit, I'm like, whoa. Just like, damn. Just the episode. It was, it was heartwarming. It was a very heartwarming episode. Like I, I can't put the episode down. I, I can't. It didn't need the action of the boss battles and stuff. This episode did its job. I mean, they it pretty much re-ramped everybody, rejuvenated everybody to where they wanted to continue to fight the boss, go back into the raid. That's pretty much what this episode served, and it was very believable. It wasn't where, oh, let's just get back up on our feet and let's just go kick this boss. It seems to be impossible. It wasn't like that. It actually went more realistic. It actually was like a realistic type episode because, I mean, if you are a person up against almost an impossible odds, like three fucking raid bosses, like, dude, dude, like seriously, that, that would crush anyone's spirit. It would, especially when you know your memories are on the line when you die and stuff. That adds a, uh, like an extra weight to the overall fight. And so... It's understandable why they would kind of be broken. I mean, I've gotten quite pissed off when I get stuck on a Dark Souls boss. Oh, oh god. Oh god. Like, when I played on New Game Plus Plus Plus, or, four, or the New Game Plus, like, four pluses or whatever. I'm not even going to say Plus 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 and shit. But pretty much when I played on Dark Souls and the Four Kings, they wrecked my ass when I freaking played Dark Souls 1. Oh. And I was pissed because it just, it's so fucking almost impossible fighting four fucking kings by yourself. And so, yeah, I can understand, you know, three different bosses, raid bosses, and I mean, if they're anything like WoW bosses, then that's ridiculous. That's fucking ridiculous. So, yeah. Uh, episode. You know what? I'll, I'll give it an 8. Yeah, I'll give it an 8. I mean, it was a, a different type of episode. An episode I don't normally see when it comes to anime, and it actually 
It was heartwarming. It was a heartwarming and touching episode that had William monologuing for the course of this episode. I would have been pissed, however, if his guild members decided to say fuck him and just walk off. Because after all that monologuing, after me sitting through almost 20 minutes of monologuing, if his guild members would have just got up and left him, I would have been pissed. I, oh god, dude. If you were to sit there talking and monologuing for 17 minutes without interruption, wouldn't you get pissed if they just walk off? Like, you know what? Fuck this, I'm done. And they just walk off. Wouldn't you be kind of pissed if that would have happened? So, overall, great episode. Tell me your thoughts in the comments below. You all have a wonderful day or not. Wherever you live, please be safe. Chibi out.